Hi, in this video, we will introduce SuperCarol. We've been using Carol in all of our programs, and I love Carol. Honestly, Carol's a great dog, knows a lot of cool tricks, but oh yes, here we go, Carol is evolving. So I've been waiting for this for a long time. Carol has evolved, and Carol has evolved into Super Carol. All right, this is huge. This is awesome, because Super Carol can learn new moves. So introducing Super Carol. Super Carol has turn right and turn around already defined. From now on, we'll be using Super Carol instead of Carol. So Carol's evolved into Super Carol, and with Super Carol, we can call turn right and turn around without having to define them first. They're built in. Super Carol already knows these commands. So these are the commands that Super Carol knows. Super Carol knows move, put ball, take ball, turn left, and now turn right and turn around. Now you may have noticed that I snuck in that word API up into the title of this slide. So let's talk about what exactly an API is. So introducing APIs. An API is an application programming interface. It is just a set of tools for building programs. That's what an API is. So what is an API? It's an application programming interface. That's what it stands for, but that's not really important. What is important is what it actually means. An API is a set of tools for building software, which is just another word for program. A good API makes it easier to develop a program by providing all the necessary building blocks, and these building blocks are then put together by the programmer. That's you. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You've actually been programming in a language called Python this entire time. You've been writing Python functions, Python commands, full Python programs. Python is a full professional language that is one of the most widely used programs in the world. So how does this relate to APIs? Well, Carol is an API. Carol is an API built in Python to make it easier to build cool programs. The Carol API abstracts away the complex details involved in getting Carol, the dog, to move across the screen. There's a lot of complex things going on to get a picture of a dog to move across the screen, but we don't have to worry about any of that. We just type the Python command move and Carol API takes care of the rest. The Super Carol API is even better. The Super Carol API is exactly the same as the Carol API, but it has some new additions. In addition to abstracting away the process involved in getting Carol to move across the screen, it abstracts away the details involved in getting Carol to turn right and turn around. It used to be that we had to define those functions every single time we wanted to use them, but now those are built into the API. We don't have to worry about how these work behind the scenes. This is the Carol API, and the API is the building blocks we can use. These are the commands Carol knows. Move, put ball, take ball, and turn left. The Super Carol API is the same, but we've also added turn right and turn around. So now one more thing about APIs that's important, and that's the documentation. Documentation is an important part of APIs because it provides the information to show the programmer, that's you, how to use it. If you haven't checked out the Docs tab yet, this is where all the documentation for Carol and Super Carol lives. When we go to the Docs, we can see documentation. All the information about this API, how to use it, the proper syntax, things like that are all included in this documentation. So that's the API documentation, and that's Super Carol. Now let's go explore some in the editor. Okay, so we're going to look at revisiting our hurdle Carol. So if you remember, this program had Carol uh, running a set of hurdles, and we basically had said, okay, our, our basic program down here was run to a hurdle, jump the hurdle, run to the next hurdle, jump that hurdle, and then run to the finish. And we didn't know, you know, we were originally using Carol that did not know turn right. And so when we ran, we would see Carol kind of come up. And when it get, got up, when Carol got up here, Carol would turn left three times so that, that Carol could can, then continue uh, with their moves. So what we can do, though, is we can actually delete this here. And now we're going to notice that Carol knows how to turn right because this is Super Carol now. And with Super Carol, we can see 
that that command so, still executes without us having to define it. So we still have our turn right commands in here. And we're going to notice too that when Carol does do this, watch what she does here. So Carol turns, and Carol actually turns right. Carol's not turning left three times, but actually making a right turn. So that's how we use Super Carol. We're basically same commands as before, but we're adding the turn right and the turn around, and we don't have to define those commands over here. So now it's your turn to play around.